In this presentation I'm going to focus on an introduction to surface roughness and an introduction to dimensional and information about the sample. Uh, critically of course are the TICAN Technologies BEX software that you have on the screen in front of you is fundamentally a metrology tool. It's a tool used for the characterization of complex surfaces. Uh, the sample that you have in front of you I described in the previous presentation as a data set taken from an atomic force microscope, an AFM. Uh, the customer, we've, we've modified the data so that that data, data can be loaded into the BEC software and that's the image you see in the image screen in front of you. Just to recap, the data format here is shown by the number of points and the grid spacing. Uh, we also highlighted the benefit of using contours on the top-down view and I'm just going to switch to that view now uh, so that you can see the contours highlighting the nature of this surface. Uh, just a few points on the surface. It's basically a carbon nanotube structure with vertically aligned fibres coming towards the viewer and then uh, that surface has been sputted with a very thin layer of gold so actually what you're looking down on is a gold coating on top of a very rough uh, carbon nanotube surface so that's why you have lots of roughness on this relatively small surface. Just highlighting the cross-section here uh, now we can see some features in the cross-section corresponding to the line drawn uh, in the top-down view. It's really the only top-down view that you should use when you're going to look at these cross-sections because it's only the top-down view that has the the cross-section line allowing you to adjust the line or at least see where the line is that corresponds to the cross-section. Very important. So there are many cross-section views, views we could do. Currently the default view is set up to this horizontal line in the middle of the data set if we go to this box uh, in the cross-section you can see it's highlighted as horizontal just left click on that I can switch that to vertical and now you'll see the cross-sections changed and you'll see the cross-section line on the on the screen is also changed we now have a vertical view uh, we have a free view with the free view essentially it starts off as a diagonal view across the data set but the points here are movable as shown so that you can just draw the line in uh, in the object space so that you can get the cross-section that you desire for your data analysis. Uh, let's switch back for the time being to our horizontal default position and then just as I said in the introduction I just want to highlight some dimensional information here. We saw this on one of the very early introductions to the software but if I highlight the pointer here just click on that. The the cross-section space becomes really a mapping space now so that we can get information about the position. So in the position I've got the crosshair at you can see it gives me the X position uh, and the Z position for that particular cross-section. Uh, if you want to know the Y position it's actually shown in the grey box at the bottom here and I'll come back to that shortly but you can see it moves as I miss the move the cross Wise. If I just click on that, that point is now fixed. If I were, if I'm required to know the distance between the two peaks here, the, the first one and the second one, I just highlight the second one. Uh, I've clicked on that. I now have those two point two points highlighted as shown. And if you look at the the box that I'm pointing to in the lower section of the screen here, you've now got the the difference between those two points in X and in Z and also the the distance of the line between the two points. So first of all you can see the distance uh, between the two points in the X axis which is the horizontal axis uh, is 4.06 microns and the difference in the height is 0.123 of a micron. 